Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. That must mean we are cooking brisket. Y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, we're going to be feeding a bunch of people today. So... We've uh, got a couple of beautiful, beautiful uh, certified Angus high choice briskets. Trimmed those up last night and uh, we injected them. And uh, we got them right over here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get them seasoned up and we're going to put them on our great big offset smoker. It's early, but it's barbecue time, baby. Right, it's pretty dark out here, so I hope you guys can see. We're going to season this bad boy up. We've already got them trimmed and injected. We're going to start with our Backwoods Gourmet Steak and Brisket Rub. Give that a pretty damn good uh, coat of that. And here is uh, our competition kicker. Montreal Steak Seasoning. Just a uh, medium coat of that guy. I like the big chunks of pepper um, that this one has. So we we'll start on the fat side. We're just gonna press it down a little bit so it don't all fall off. And you can see on the other side we've trimmed up uh, the decal and everything off this. Got all the sinuate off the uh, top of it, and we opened it up here so we can get some smoke down into that point. Hit of both of these. It's pretty hard to over season a chunk of meat this big. We're gonna hit it pretty hard. And this is uh, pretty much exactly what we do for competition. And um, we've had a second place so far in pros and uh, seventh place so far in pros. So we got its uh, left hand side twin over here and Wake up sleepy heads. It's 9.30 a.m. Saturday morning. We've been out here since 3 o'clock uh, working on these briskets. Let's go take a look. Up there is uh, what we're looking for. Uh, we've got a really nice color on it. Uh, not black. No black. I'm not doing uh, Texas black brisket. You can hear that, guys. 
so sizzling away there. We're going to go ahead and uh, take our thermopin, give them a stab down in there. That's at 169. So now we're going to take this one and do just like we did with this twin over here and wrap them in aluminum foil and put them in a pan and stick them back on. Sharp edges will, no matter how good a aluminum foil you have, the sharp edges of this grill will uh, nick the aluminum foil. So we're going to get our uh, temperature probes in them before we put them back on. And when you're putting your probe in, make sure you get it right down in the center part, the thickest part of the flat. I usually put mine kind of at a 45 degree angle, uh, which is necessary here because uh, clearance on my smoker. But now we can hook our Maverick up without disturbing or opening, opening the lids and tell exactly when uh, we hit 203. Alright folks, one of the advantages to uh, having a big trailer type smoker like this is uh, we started this cook, we're cooking for about 40-50 people in the next town over. So we started that here at the uh, Backwoods Gourmet Studio and Kitchen. And now we just hook the smoker up and we'll bring it over there while it's still burning. Uh, we'll drag it right down the road, still cooking. So of course we'll secure our, uh, our stainless steel trays here and our, thermos, our uh, Maverick um, thermometer. This is showing us our internal temps right now. One's cooking very much faster than the other. One's at 171, one's at 158, which actually dropped. Um, but it's still 200 degrees, 225 in there. So we're getting ready to uh, move this show to a different location. All right, well, both of these briskets uh, just hit 203. We've taken them off use my selfie and stick. vented them out on selfie stick. <laughs> we don't do no stinking selfie sticks around here. Here's, here's my uh, assistant chefs today. We've got uh, Chef Bonsai. He's over here slicing the uh, smoked sausage for hors d'oeuvres with these beautiful caramelized sweet onions for other folks. Um, Rokita here, he's uh, brought some fully cooked shrimp that we're going to try to do something with but let's get back to the star of the show which is these beautiful briskets there's I just a peel the bark brisket off. number one don't don't even touch <laughs> I'll cut your finger off I'll just skim the bark off of my knife okay so uh, shortly we're letting them rest for a moment surely we're going to separate the points from the flats and start our burn ants <laughs> hey I'm Jerry I had to get this truck loaded for uh, Monday morning. I understand. Ah, I never Use appetizers. Years and you take this long. Yeah, ice cream? No, man. Uh, potato salad. Oh, cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, trying to vote for something like that. It's beyond big. Are these just crazy ass hippies or what? My brother did. And he's a crazy ass hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Doing those tie-dye. I was working with a guy and he said, yeah, he's going to put me through school for free. 
Who you were from Adam, I mean, you subscribe know. Subscribe to my I channel mean, I mean, I if you want we, to see how to make brisket that looks like Oh that. my gosh, you guys see this picture. Okay, this, this is good. This is in 4K, dude. Let me see. This will be in. Uh, oh, damn. This is I saw in. that. I saw it before. Oh, Here see, it's still working on it. Oh, shit, look at that. I've got photographers. Oh, man. i got photographers <laughs> taking pictures of my meat. <laughs> and i got photographers <laughs> taking pictures of you. <laughs> I should have been shooting this, this shit all day. I should have fogged up my lens, man. Mm -hmm. come out of here. Get a real camera. Oh, your hand's in my way. Oh, Ain't no real camera. Yes. There's no one saying you can't have dessert first. I'll definitely be on some peach cobbler. We don't know what it's going to taste like. Well, we have to get we have to get a picture of the chef at least, yeah. so you can be on YouTube tomorrow. Oh no, thanks. <laughs> you will be. <laughs> oh, here comes the cat. That's all right. We have airsoft. <laughs> no, they're not pets. They're strays. Well, there are they're feeding them. There are feral. They help watch. They help take care of the snakes and mice. But yes, we can have a little fun with them too. Now, you guys want to see what a real redneck truck looks like? Well, of course. First of all, if you have a real redneck truck, it absolutely cannot be all one color. Okay, that's the. <laughs> first rule of redneck trucks. Uh, second of all, uh, third colors, like this green on the hood, that's a bonus. Alright? And the next one, it's got to have a God Jesus question mark on the front. As well as a homemade bumper, a set of big ass mud tires, a lift kit, and it has to be at least 20 years old with rusty mirrors and of course the brand new LED bar on the front just say short clip of the no farms no food uh, sticker on the back new sticker of the here. plate yeah. I need a plate <laughs> that was the most handsome piece of meat right there I've ever seen oh in my, my life Look at that. all of a sudden the area has gone quiet <laughs> Mouths are full. As people are chomping down on the I wonderful barbecue brisket. Except this one, who yet has no food. My belly is empty. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just waiting for me to drop something accidentally. I know. I know you are. <laughs> Here's cleanup crew. I was just telling my about my parents. They used to have barbecues at the house. Thank you.